Covering Jacksonville's north side, people living along Rebalt Scenic Drive may be some of the hardest hit by Hurricane Irma. Yeah, take a look at a photo that was taken Monday. You're going to see floodwaters more than four feet deep that just poured into people's homes. Channel 4's Eric Avignier is joining us live. Eric, some of the people there got at least some good news and some help this afternoon. Well, Kent, Jacksonville police, fire, and even a local church came through here earlier today to deliver food, water, and hope to a flood victims who say that Hurricane Irma basically destroyed everything they owned. This is what parts of Rebalt Scenic Drive looked like a couple of days ago. Several feet of water flooding homes and ruining lives of people who live here. The water has receded, but the damage is bad. Is it safe to say that you guys have lost pretty much everything? We've lost everything. We've lost everything. Here inside this living room, water is still saturating this carpet. In fact, the owner tells me that when he and his wife came home, they found water levels up to this outlet. Trying to clear it out. Then the couple opened the refrigerator to show us a foot of flood water that was still inside. The Harnage family, like so many others on this block, say they lost everything. With no electricity, they took advantage of daylight to move soaked furniture outside. It was while they were moving furniture that Jacksonville police and firefighters came by to drop off food and water to them and others on this block. Uh, it was a big relief, especially with uh, the bottles of water, because we've been going through water like crazy, trying to stay hydrated. It was surreal. I mean, I got tears in my eyes seeing, you know, people just handing things out to us and helping us. I mean, I never thought we'd be in this position to need help. Next door neighbor Deidre Gibson says it feels good to know they were not forgotten. They brought MREs, they brought water. The mayor has been out, toured all the way through my house um, to see all the damage. Now, power to this area was just restored a few hours ago, but many people who uh, were flood victims along this road will not be able to turn anything on because those electrical outlets are still saturated with water. Reporting live from the north side, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.